with a 15 watt magic light. And as you can see behind me, it was kind of giving me almost a halo effect. Um, I went ahead and, and downloaded it. Right now we're at 9%. And you can download the app and put it on your Kindle or your, your phone or what have you. So I bring it all the way back up and it's pretty bright. And I put it on warm and it's really bright. Now I, I did show you guys earlier on the 7.5 watt, which is um, a much smaller bulb. This one's much larger and I will go ahead and pull it out so you can see. And you see you can actually go through and you can choose the colors, which is nice. Now here's what I found interesting. Under warm white, it's pretty bright, lights up the room. But if you go to cool white, which is normally a very bright light, we're down to there, which is completely different than the other one, the 7.5, which is low, but not that low. What I found is if you click here and you bring it really close to one of these colors, then you get the closest thing to the white right, the white light brightness. Um, it has a lot of other features, just like I have, I talked about before. Uh, for you know a little bit more money and a lot more light, it's not bad. You get the usual stuff you get, you know, under app. Like you go ahead and you can go over here, and these are kind of interesting. This is sort of nighttime colors, it's supposed to cause less of a, a brightness issue, you know. Um, these are kind of a strange where you can hit the timer and it fades from one color to the next, which is kind of interesting. And going back to this one feature is kind of cool. Now it's got the microphone, it's got the music, but the camera feature is neat. Because you take the camera feature and like um, right now we've got a pretty good picture of our demon. So I go up and I zoom in on the demon, I hit capture, and now he's matching the color of the demon, which I thought was actually kind of a, a neat little add-on. And then it's got the usual you know, like music jamming stuff and microphone. And as you talk, it goes up and down and changes colors, etc. So um, all in all, I've got this tied into Alexa as well, or at least the other one I do. I haven't added it to this one because I, I don't have an Alexa in this office. My opinions are for, you know, except for I'm not real happy about the white light going com completely dim. I am going to go ahead and let the manufacturer know that's going on. But other than that, I would actually consider for any room, um, for any room where you want a pretty decent amount of light coming out of one source to be, um, this is a good, a good idea. Now let me go ahead and this is pretty huge. You might even put this outside if you're going to put in one of your, your lights. So um, if you've got a small a small form factor lamp you want to put into, this probably ain't going to cut it. But if you have something like this, which is, you know, that's a standard house lamp. Apparently I paid 46 for it. But like I said, this is the 15 watt model. It does the equivalent of a 100 watt bulb. Where you know, now could you go with the other ones and maybe get more than one and have them come on and off? Have Alexa turn on all lights in one room or all lights off or Google? I think yes. One of the reasons I chose to go with the Magic Light over the other brands is that I know the Magic Light doesn't require me to get a special uh, Wi Fi system. I can actually run it directly off my routers, which is how I'm doing it now. Now, of course, I've got to reacquire it because I turned the light off. But um, for that lack of, when you look at the cost of lights and then you factor in the, um, the cost for getting the, um, the Wi-Fi set up going up, up and running and the additional troubleshooting you may have to go through, I actually think this is a, a pretty good deal. So there you have it. Magic Light 15 watt versus the Magic Light if you look at my other review on the 7.5 watt. I'm pretty impressed with this. It's it's pretty bright, with the exception of that one little issue, which I will let the manufacturer know. Um, I'm pretty happy. Oh, the one other thing I want to add into this is that you can turn on and off remotely. And when I went and just found it and selected it, it came back on. Here's the other feature I very much like. You can actually set 
the series of times that it goes on and off. So if you're leaving the house, hey, you know, Mr. Intruder Burglar Guy, guess what? And so, again, now that I have a Kindle, it's a little larger, but you can see that I have my devices and then I can also set up rooms. So if you've got a whole bunch of these guys in one room or two, you can actually say this on, this off, 